Peace family is in the guys in the way. Today we're here to talk about a very fucking important topic. Today we is here to motherfucking talk about none else. This is a topic you probably never heard of. It is part two to my previous video. My previous video, I spoke about. If any of y'all remember it, let me recalculate and recalibrate my memory. Star philosophy and sun worship. That's what I spoke. That's what I spoke about. I remember it. Now, star philosophy is simple. Mars is exalted in the house of Aries. No, Aries is exalted in the house of Mars because the planet Mars rules Aries, right? And the sun, the form of expression, the masculine force that pulls in gravity no matter what. People are always going to be watching him and making plans around him. Now I'm about to show you how this fits into what I'm speaking about. So, the sun is the masculine force. It's exalted in the house of Aries. Alright? So the sun, Aries rules the head. Rules the face. It rules the head all up here what you use to express what you use to physically sense life to physically express and be in reality itself is the ears the nose the mouth you breathe through your mouth smell through your nose hear through your ears right so the so sun is the masculine form of expression it's exalted within the house of motherfucking Aries. So, when you're in the house of Aries, you are in control of masculine features. The house of Aries are people who are stars, naturally, because the sun is a star. And your sign exalts the sun. So, you're going to live life as a star. You're going to be a, a source of light that plans, planets, other people via want to gravitate towards them. Planets attract sunlight. You feel me? The masculine sun gives out light. So people like looking at stars. You need stars for physical reality. Aries, such as me, naturally, we put on a show. We give you something to feed off of. Light is something that's burning bright with soul. The more light you are, the more soul you got. The brighter the star, the more soul within its capacity. Alright? So, Aries have people constantly around them, surveying them. These are the planets. And the planets tend to worship Aries and make propaganda of schemes around him. The word plan. They make plans to persecute us, Aries, because they're the planets revolving around me, the star. Because I exalt the sun, the star. You're, I'm a star. Literally, my sign is a star sign. A literal star fucking seed. I'm a star seed. Literally. So that's why these people are always around me because it's nature. This is not a game no more. I got so much spiritual ether I'm seeing past levels or realms of realities now. This is not no game. That's physical. Why are you worried about something physical? You're seeing realms and reality above these people. I see it for what it is now. I already had that dream. Check the last video out. I'm the sun. I'm a mini sun in my matrix. And naturally, I'll attract a planet Earth my way, which is the melanated woman. So the man is the sun. Masculine force, no matter what sign you are, automatically is going to exalt the sun because he is the physical expression of masculinity. Just like the black female is the feminine expression of feminine energy. I, I. So that's why now I'm the sun. I'm the star. Things are gravitating towards me. People follow me. People watch me. People make events for me to feed my light into their reality. They want my shine towards and directed towards them. No. 
Fuck all that shit. Fuck all that shit. I'm a star. I'm going to do what my purpose was meant to do on earth. Shine. That's all. My purpose on earth was to shine. Nothing else. Nothing else. I'm here to shine. I'm here to show my expression, my light as an Aries to ascend to the next level. Shine naturally and ascend spiritually. You feel me? Don't get caught up in the shine. Know when to come back to physical reality and ascend. But my whole overall purpose is to shine. I'm a fucking star. I don't even try to shine on purpose. I just feel like shining. Like I feel the passion in me. Naturally, the passion's in me. I don't need nobody to hype me up to live my dreams. I already got that passion being an Aries. Then I got Mars and Taurus, which is practicality, routine, and growth. So that is perfect for my working environment. So I'm used to going at things for the long run. Instagram about to hit 20K. YouTube been doing this. Videos. I've been giving out YouTube videos almost every day now. I'm working practically. I know that these are seeds I'm planting into the internet. And over years and years, I will grow trees of subscribers. That's how you got to see life. The feminine energy is the mother earth. She nurtures. She receives... Light from the sun within her matrix. Her matrix is dark. So she split herself into the masculine form to shine light into her matrix. And therefore, perception was able. You were able to perceive. And that's how you now have a physical existence. It's all light. It's not physical. Only thing physical is the matrix itself. That's all. All of this is bullshit. It's light codes. It's light things. That's how you got to watch for it. That's how. Because all these people around here, they may be planets, but some of them, some of them may be negative entities like asteroids. Some of them may be comets. Some of them may be trying to collide with you. But your force of gravity will already give you a sense of who's coming after you because you're the sun. You are the sun. You are greater than these planets because they're attracted by your force naturally. So you got to understand that you're stronger. You're the sun. And everything rotates around you. It's simple. Stay informed. Stay wise. Zen the God. Not a facade. I'm a son.